Hey everyone, hey, I finally finished my ultimate two-stroke build here. Sorry it's taken me a little while here, but I've had a lot of fun riding the bike, getting it tuned up, sorted out. So let's go over the bike from one end to the other. I'll go over the components here that we've got, uh, the front wheel, the, uh, the, the wheel itself has a hub, a moped style hub brake on it. As well, check the link down below. I'll show you where you can buy all the goodies that I used to build the bike. So we've got the 11 gauge uh, heavy duty spokes, a uh, heavy duty steel rim on it, the moped style hub, got the slime extra thick inner tubes on it. I have a slime. We've got also have the slime tire liner inside of the tire. Uh, the tire itself is a Duro brick style. Uh, some people like the Maxxis hookworms. I like the style of the Duro there. Uh, we've got the Monarch style front forks. I love that uh, that particular fork here. Um, I've got the all metal heavy duty throttle assembly. That way we got the cheap plastic one that'll break on you. We've got the LED lights here. It has a rechargeable battery which straps to the frame. I've got the uh, quote unquote five horsepower racing motor here. I do like the motor. I cleaned up the intake port. I did switch it with a, a Fred, uh, Fred head on it, a Fred style head on it. And uh, I also did put the 45 degree copper fitting on it uh, so I can get the carburetor angled back. Otherwise, a carburetor would, would bend in the way. My fat legs would be hitting it. Uh, you'll, you'll find if you use uh, one of those kits, you, you want to get the carburetor back. Uh, out, of the, uh, out of the kit on, on this particular one here, the, uh, the carburetor was jetted rather rich. Um, so I, I bumped it down to, I think, like a 98, 95, uh, number 95 jet, 98 jet, I do believe, here. Uh, just find with uh, find you know what works best for you here like that. I'm not running an air filter on it. I like to be able to spray a little quick start on it. Helps it start uh, nice and quick. I know as the as the motor gets broken in, it'll start easier, uh, and then then you can uh, put the uh, the air filter back on it. I did initially build it with the very short arms on the the crank. This was too short. Trying to pedal start this bitch with these little bitty ones here. Uh, my fat old ass, I, it, it was hard getting it started. So I, I, I swapped that out. Um, what else we got here? We got the layback seat post. Uh, we built this. I built this on the McCarji Fatal Love 29-inch frame. I like to do that. Go with the 29-inch frame and then put 26-inch wheels on it. Gives it a little bit different stance. Gives you a little bit more room in there. Uh, we have the arch style chain tensioner. I like that. That some bitch will never go into the wheels. Never have to worry about it. Uh, we've got the heavy duty 11 gauge spokes on the uh, the rear wheel here and of course I've got the uh, the hub style sprocket adapter that came with the the racing motor kit all in all I love the bike it's fun um, for me if I was to keep the bike I would want to go up with maybe a 40 or a 44 tooth sprocket I'm not interested in, in, in high top speeds here uh, this here as it is it doesn't have the best acceleration down low. You, you got to work a little bit, start get, getting a little bit, some revs on the motor, and then you can give it gas and it, it'll start going. Um, I don't know how fast this thing will go. I would say about 50 miles an hour might be, uh, might be where, where it'll hit once the motor's broke in. I don't want to go that fast on a bicycle. I'd rather have a lower end performance, so that's why if, uh, if I was going to stick with this bike here, I would go with the 44 tooth sprocket on the rear end. Tell you what, I'm going to put this thing up for sale. Give me an email if you're interested in the bike. I'll make you a deal on the bike here. And uh, stay tuned, boys and girls. Next up, I'm going to build the ultimate four-stroke motorized bicycle and uh, sh show you what we got here. Check the link down below. I'll have all the uh, the goodies on the bike showing you where you can get, get the ones for yourself here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click thumbs up if you like it. Click subscribe. There's a lot more to come. Thank you for watching.